will stand in our way. Greetings cadets. In this next segment we will be adding phases and photon torpedoes to our breadboard. I need to start by giving a shout out to our fellow ostrich Travis who originally suggested what the photon torpedoes should look like when they are firing. In the original sketch that I did a year ago, when you press the photon torpedoes, it immediately cut out the phases if they were firing. Travis said that this did not look very good, so I went back and I rewrote big parts of the sketch, and now when you press the phases and the photon torpedoes at the same time, they will both be activated. Of course, Travis was correct and the sketch looks a lot better. There's a companion video to this one called a sketch bashing video. In it, I show you exactly where you can make changes and modifications to the sketch in order to make it suit your personal needs. I mention this because there is a setting where you can cut out the phases as soon as the photon torpedoes start firing. This will let you see what the sketch looked like originally before I made the changes which Travis suggested. So, without any further ado, let's get cracking. First off, we need a breadboard, an Arduino Uno, and some jumper wires. We'll need a small assortment of 3mm LEDs and 5 by 100 ohm resistors. The white LED is used to demonstrate the strobe effect and doesn't need a resistor because it's connected to pin 13. The green LED and its resistor will be used for the navigation lights. The blue and yellow bicolor LED and its resistor will be used for the warp fade effect. The orange LED and its resistor will be used for the phaser effect and the red LEDs and their resistors will demonstrate the photon torpedoes firing. If we don't have a bicolor LED, we can use blue and yellow LEDs instead, remembering to add an extra 100 ohm resistor to our component list. The blue LED and its resistor will demonstrate warp mode, while the yellow LED and its resistor will demonstrate impulse mode. We will also need three momentary button switches, each with its own 10 kilo ohm pull down resistor. The first button will allow us to change between impulse and warp modes, causing the bicolor LED to ramp down and then ramp up with its opposite color. The second button will allow us to demonstrate the phaser effect and the third button will be used to fire photon torpedoes. Let's build up our circuits. We start by making sure that the Arduino is not plugged into our console to prevent any accidental short circuits while we work. As before, we'll power our breadboard using two of the pins, the 5V and ground pin, in the power rail of the Arduino Uno board. Firstly, let's connect the 5V pin to the upper rail of our breadboard. This will provide 5 volts of power to any of the components connected to this rail. We will ground our circuits by connecting the lower rail of our breadboard to the ground pin of the Arduino's power rail. This way, power will flow from each component to the Arduino board through a common ground connection. Now for the fun part. Starting with the strobe LED, we connect pin 13 of the Arduino to the long leg of the LED and the short leg to the ground rail of the breadboard. We connect Arduino pin 12 to the long leg of the navigation LED and the short leg to the ground rail using a 100 ohm resistor. When we add the bicolor LED, we connect the long leg or common cathode to the negative rail of the breadboard with a 100 ohm resistor. We connect Arduino pin 11 to the blue leg of the LED and pin 10 to the yellow leg. If we're using two separate LEDs, we connect output pin 11 to the long leg of the blue LED 
and the short leg to the breadboard with a 100 ohm resistor. Similarly, we connect pin 10 to the yellow LED and use a resistor to connect the yellow LED to the ground rail to complete its circuit. We connect Arduino pin 7 to the long leg of the orange phaser LED and the short leg to the ground rail using its resistor. When connecting the photon torpedoes, pin 6 gets connected to the long leg of torpedo number 2, which connects to the ground rail with its resistor, while pin 5 gets connected to torpedo number 1, which has its own resistor. We notice that Arduino pins 5 and 6 are pulse width modulation pins. This is important, as we'll be using different light intensities when we create the photon torpedo effect in the sketch. Now that our lighting has been set up, let's add our interactive switches. We'll connect the upper left legs of our switches to the positive rail of our breadboard. And, remembering that power flows diagonally across a momentary button switch, we'll connect the lower right legs of our switches to the ground rail. Each switch needs to be grounded to the breadboard by a 10 kilo ohm pull down resistor on its ground leg. We connect any one of the switches from its ground leg to input pin 1 on the Arduino board. This switch will allow us to change between impulse and warp modes. We connect another switch to pin 2 on the Arduino board. This switch triggers the photon torpedo effect in the sketch. The last switch is connected to Arduino pin 4 and will allow us to fire our phasers. And there we have it. It looks a little complicated at the moment, but it will be great fun once the sketch is up and running. Our next task is to download and install the Starship Zero 03 sketch. In the description below, we can find the download link for the Starship Zero 03 sketch. We need to right-click the link and select Copy Link Location. Next, we paste the link in our browser's address bar and navigate to the download page. Here, we click the download button and save the file to our Arduino working directory. We can simply double click the file we downloaded to open it, or open our Arduino GUI, click File, select the Starship 03 sketch and click Open. We'll see the usual warning that the sketch needs to be inside its own folder and click OK to create that folder. Finally, we need to connect the Arduino to our consoles and click the Upload button to send the Starship 03 sketch to the Arduino board. At first, we see the strobe and navigation lights flashing, followed shortly afterwards by the impulse mode LED ramp up. When we press the switch connected to Arduino pin 1, the yellow impulse mode ramps down to be replaced by the blue warp mode and vice versa. By pressing the switch connected to pin 4, we create a 3 second burst of phaser fire while photon torpedoes are activated by the switch on pin 2. The photon torpedoes each fire a short low intensity burst followed by a longer, brighter one. The phasers and photon torpedoes can fire simultaneously, but the phasers are deactivated when switching between impulse and warp modes. Well done to the cadets who are keeping up with the circuit builds. They are becoming a bit more complicated, but the more intricate they become, the more value they'll add to your Starship builds. Future videos are going to be adding even more to these circuits, which I'm sure you'll find equally interesting. So long, and thanks for watching.